Hey guys, it's Babble here from the Bengali Cook. Hope you are well. And thank you for joining me on this week's video. This week's video, guys, I have got a home style recipe for you that you can cook from scratch. Um, it's one of my favorite dishes I've not made for a while. And I thought, hey, why not um, share it with you with yourselves? Um, if you are new guys here, please um, subscribe to our channel. What I do here, I show you how to make Indian restaurant style curries rices biryanis all of that sort of good stuff at home for a fraction of the price and i'll also show you how to make uh, home style curries at home so having said that guys let's crack on and don't forget guys to hit that smash that like button comment share uh, my channel with your socials that'd be much appreciated so all the ingredients and everything guys you will find it and on the description box and as I go through I'll mention them but please check that description box out it'll have all the ingredients listed with the measurements along with others other bits and pieces links to other things that you may find beneficial so let's crack on with today's dish put the heat on First things first, we're going to get some oil. Let's get this one going. Make sure you can see the timer. Perfect, you can. All right, so I'm just going to add some oil. Just add oil to your... So generally about three to four tablespoons I would use. So with the oil, guys, don't forget, if you do add too much towards the end, once the cooking's done, you can always scoop the oil out. So what I've got here as the oil is heating up, I've got some chopped garlic, I've got some tomato puree as it is from the, from the, from the tube. I've got some chilli, green chilies cut, nice finely cut. Coriander, I've got my... Indian restaurant style mixed powder. I've got some chili powder. I've got some Kashmiri red chili. I've got some haldi powder. I've got some black pepper, and I've got some parch puran. Let's understand. I've got this parch puran here that we'll be using. So it's got cumin. It's got cumin seeds, mustard seeds, all of that sort of good stuff in there. It's used in Bengali dish, Bangladeshi dishes. I normally use it predominantly with a veg when I'm cooking uh, vegetables and so forth. So this week, guys. Right, it is on, so let's go. Another bit and piece I'm going to be using, guys, I've got some chicken tikka, but if you haven't got chicken tikka, you can use norm, no, um, normal chicken, add it in, lamb, or anything else, really, guys. So happy days with you. Right, oil is good. Let's put this here. So I'm going to make it one portion again. If you do want to make more than one portion, guys, just times one and a half times it so so one tablespoon of pipe couldn't go in in the aroma and the flavor that's gonna give out is gonna be absolutely awesome So I'm not going to be using any other whole spices, it's just going to be this. I guess oil needs a bit more time to heat up. Anyway guys, how's it going? What you guys have been up to? Let us know in the comments box. Which of the recipes have you been enjoying from my channel? As that's sizzling away, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. So you know one thing, I love garlic, so I'm going to use one good two teaspoons of garlic. You're going to use more or less by all means. Finely chopped onion. I'm going to use one and a half because I'm going to go for a nice Buddha style, guys. I want a lot of masala sauce there. I'm 
and the patchwork aroma just kicks in straight away, guys. Get that some salt. So I'm using half a teaspoon of salt and I normally would use less on this one because the chicken tikka that I've made it's got the salt and all of that sort of stuff in it but because of the green beans I'll be using I'll put a little bit more in so again just a teaspoon of salt. So we're just going to wait for this cap to caramelise That's getting done, I'll get the chicken tikka done. So the chicken tikka recipe is from, is from my book. If you haven't got it guys, go check it out. As well as there's recipes on the channel as well. So that's where it's from. Seven pieces here, this is great. Tiny piece here. Gonna add a bit of hot water to help the onions. We're looking to soften the onion, make it go nice and that golden brown before we add anything else in there. So this part's probably gonna be the slightly the longest part. One heap teaspoon I'm going to go for of tomato puree. Here's the magic's gonna happen. I'm gonna start off with my restaurant style mixed powder. So this is gonna be like a boona dish, so I want the spices to be you know quite quite a lot really and that's gonna really cook it well. So it's one I'm gonna just make it nice. One teaspoon and a quarter. Turn it down slightly as I am the spice of it. One teaspoon of red chili powder. If you want to use more or less, by all means, you crack on. Half a teaspoon of halty powder. Half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. So that's all our spices in there for now. Let's get this. So this is going to have a rich um, sauce to it guys so well, I'm add a bit of water because I don't want the spice to burn just 
что бы все. Always love to some chuck some coriander at this point, especially with the stalks in there. That's really good. The butter is really good for you. Look at that. Again, guys, do not, please do not skip this part. This part is really important. Have the heat on low, medium, high, whichever you can control without burning the spice, but repeat this process. Cook the spice really well. As soon as it starts catching, give it, give it a mix. Add a bit of water to it. So, again, one chef spoon, so about two or three tablespoons there. Repeat the process. Now, because we're cooking at home, there's no rush to cook the spices or cook your curry in two minutes. So literally take your time and, and yeah, cook the spices really well. And you'll appreciate it. If you do this part well, the curry, it, it takes care of itself. It's absolutely delicious. Do this final time, then I'm going to start adding in the green beans and the chicken. So that's looking good so these have been parboiled already guys so these are frozen peas so i've got one two i guess that might be enough to be fair there we go just you eyeball it guys as much as or less or less as much or less as you want so i've done about good I'm adding the beans first purely because the chicken tikka is already flavoured. So still we're cooking this spice. Now at this point I'm gonna chuck in some green chilies so again add it to your taste that's one tablespoon sorry teaspoon and another so 
this is going to be spicy fire meat. Packed full of flavours, guys. This is. There's some more bit more coriander in there. The aroma that's coming out, guys, it's absolutely delicious. Right, let's add a bit of water. And just scrape the, scrape the spices off from the pan. So I've got seven pieces of chicken tikka in here to... I did a um, TikTok live last night. Um, what we... Saturday, Friday night I did TikTok live. Marinated, did the whole chicken marination. And that's the chicken tikka I'm using. I normally like to marinate the chicken tikka for about 48 hours, but this has had 24 hours. Still good, still good. So now we're just building the para masala, the sauce for the curry. Look at that one. That's what we're looking for. Look at that, that's what you want guys. Leave it there so you can see it. So now I'm gonna add my final layer of I'm gonna add my final layer of water. Now that's gonna if you want to add more, if you want it sauce, lots of sauce in there, add more. If you want less sauce, as I'm gonna do, if you do even add more water, you can always cook it down. So this is the thickness of the sauce I would want, or the remaining sauce. I'm going to add a bit more to it. And now let that come to a boil. Time is still there, guys. Add in a couple of pieces of tomatoes. If you haven't tried my chicken tikka, guys, want to try it? It's delicious.
Don't forget the beans were par cooked, guys, so it should be absolutely fine. Right, so this is it, now it's come to the consistency that I'm looking for. So the final touches now, guys. <clears throat> I did say this is gonna be a fiery dish, so we've got all that chili, green, all of that in it, so I've got about, possibly about, let's just get it. About quarter teaspoon of, yeah, say about quarter teaspoon of black pepper. In. But this one's actually the, the rainbow one, so it's got a little different pieces, but just use black pepper on this. This is my little masala, but you can use a shop bought one as well. So again, I'm going to use just under a quarter, just a touch. I made this again on my TikTok live last night. And finally, I think finally, a good pinch of kasuri methi. Feel free to add a bit more green chili if you want to. I'm adding it now, so when I have it, it's going to give the crunch to it as well. So right, this is done. Right. Last 30 seconds of it, and we're done with this curry. Excuse me, and we are done. Guys. Chicken tikka with beans and masala. It's a fiery one, it's going to be spicy. The masala is going to be very uh, rich on this one, guys. So enjoy the recipe. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and if you're new to the channel, guys, do subscribe to the channel. And as always, appreciate you guys, appreciate all your support and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.